Hi, everybody. Take two. <laughs> Sorry, technical issues here in the studio, but I think we have fixed the issue of sound. This is Radul Live. Welcome to the show. Um, 24 hours after the uh, 2020 Tokyo Olympics kicked off, and we are brought to you today courtesy of Tusker, a brand that makes us proud to be Kenyan. And what prouder moment than when we see our athletes performing on the international stage. So we're looking forward to a great Olympics. Remember, when you want to cheer Team Kenya, use the hashtag we are Team Kenya. Yes, we are Team Kenya. And uh, make sure you enjoy an ice cold Tusker as you enjoy the action on the Olympics. Now, to focus on why we are here today, I am here with the treasurer of Kogalo. Ever seen with me? Good, good. By the way, I can't sing to save my life. <laughs> Dolphino <laughs> Diambo. Hey, uh. Yes, Carol. <laughs> I like destroying your name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Treasurer Gorma here. Mm. As much as we are laughing, we have serious things to discuss today. <laughs> um, I've deliberately worn my Gorma here jersey to put pressure on you. Because mm. as a fan, my team is not performing mm. and I have issues. What's wrong with Gorma here these days? I think we've gone five games in the league without winning a game. What's going on? I think it's the fatigue, really. It's the fatigue because. Um, Remember, we've been playing ever since uh, November, and we've not stopped. But when you say fatigue, we are talking, is we are fatigue talking calf matches. There's no other team in Kenya that goes for calf except Gormaya. So really, the boys are tired. We've lost quite a number of them also. So it's not easy. In it's fact, I, I, as much as you say fatigue, I think mm. fatigue is affecting most of the, the teams. Mm -hmm. And this is not the first time Gormahia has gone for CAF. It's mm -hmm. not the first time Gormahia has more matches than anybody else. Mm -hmm. But Gormahia has been winning the league consistently for, for the last couple of uh, uh, years. I think mm -hmm. more importantly is the other thing you said. Mm -hmm. We're losing players. Yes. Why is a team like Gormahia losing players? I think, Carol, you will agree with me that uh, when people get greener pastures, you can't really tie them down. And especially if uh, we didn't have uh, watertight contracts, then uh, they will take advantage. When, when, when you say greener pastures, mm -hmm. I completely understand what you, what you mean because I know the landscape in Kenya. Mm -hmm. um, that we have the Simbas across the border, we mm -hmm. have the Southern African clubs that basically are offering Kenyan players much more money than we could ever dream of. Yes. But my question is why? Gorma here is a club that has been around since Kingdom Come. Mm -hmm. It is a huge brand. Mm -hmm. We should, as Gorma here, be able to compete with any club on the continent. Why is that not the case? I think um, we stagnated when it comes to money matters. We, our financial muscle is uh, at the bottom as compared to those other clubs. So that is why you find that it's easy for somebody to just wake up one morning and decide, hey, I am out of here, you know? And there's nothing you can really do about it. I think it's now that we are trying to become a bit firm on the mm. contracts. Like now, uh, I walked into an office that already people had contracts. Mm -hmm. You cannot really start changing the contracts midway. Yeah, but I believe and I hope that uh, we are going to do better on that front. But that uh, uh, notwithstanding, we have to understand that as fans, as uh, members, like I am a member, um, if I don't I'm do my part, I am a member. Mm. You said you're a fan. I am a member. As a member, there's more that I can do to assist the club, which probably I am not doing, yeah, especially uh, patronizing the club. For example, you find that if people are allowed into the field, yeah, to come and watch a match, others are jumping over the fences. We are losing revenue, you know, we are losing revenue. The, you know, that, uh, that mentality has to die. If you want to see performance, if you want to see a better club, then you have to dig into your pocket and make sure as a, 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 as a fan, you, you don't go to the field, uh, you know, uh, planning how you're going to jump the, 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 the fences and, and go watch the, the match for free, you know. 
So that mentality has to die. It is very uh, uh, prevalent in the past. Maybe, I don't know what's going to happen pro, pro COVID. I hope and pray that we will embrace uh, the issue of, uh, you know, paying for our tickets and, you know, <laughs> watching the matches. For me, you've mm. run away from the responsibility because, oh. yes, the fans have a lot of responsibility. But yes. I think the responsibility of the fan mm. has to come way down mm. after you, as the office of Gorma here, has mm. created a, 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 um, a platform mm. for us to feel that our club is in good hands. Mm. Let me just read some shout outs first, then I ask you the next question. Mm. Uh, Phil K.E. says, it's not about fatigue. Phil, what is it? I want to hear your view. <laughs> Chetera Elisham says, tell us about the letter from CAF. We'll get to that. <laughs> Nedi Atieno Okot. Eh, Nedi. <laughs> Watching from Zambia. Yeah, I know where Zambia <laughs> is. Uh, Raima Jaka, greetings from Kingston, J Jamaica. I know where that is. <laughs> Emmanuel Matano, by the way, these guys are all here down the road. Oh. Um, big up Dolphina <laughs> from Emmanuel Matano. Mm -hmm. uh, Demore Romulo Philip, locked Nikiwa Karyobangi North. Mm. Ador should be disbanded in GMFC. Yeah? <laughs> hey, Nicholas Odiambo, Bas, one Pamoja. What's Ador? That is Ambrose uh, Dickens. Uh, Oh, that, those are all his initials. Those are, yeah, the initials of his name. Okay, we're not going there. <laughs> um, Chetera Elisham says, let's go. Thomas Alwala says, I'm tuned in. Guys, we started the show twice. Sorry about that. We had a technical issue with sound the first time around. But at least we are here now. And please share the link. Share the link. Let your friends know we're live. And bring your questions as well. Now, um, before I read your comments, you were telling us t about uh, the fans. And I, by the way, me, I agree totally. Fans need to also ask, what is my responsibility yes. in growing this club? Mm -hmm. But for me, mm -hmm. and I could be wrong, the office, the Gorma here office for me, mm -hmm. is at least 99.9% .9 to blame <laughs> for the fact that Gor is not a club that can compete on the continent. Mm -hmm. Not just financially, even in terms of performance. You know, when was the last time we got to group stages of... CAF Champions League, not Confed Champions League, you know? <coughs> when was the last time um, we were able to keep a player or even mm. compete with a, 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 a salary across the border, you know? Mm. Um, so as the office, what is, what is the office doing? Because and we, we haven't even got into these domains. <laughs> Are you on good terms with your fellow office officials? <laughs> I am. I think uh, we have a working relationship. <laughs> yes. Why then mm. is there a massive fundraiser happening and as a treasurer, mm. uh, you're not involved in it? Uh, as much as I would not really want to delve into the fundraiser issue, mm. uh, I think, I think... Um, or are there elements within Gorma here? Mm. Is the, is, is are there people who are not officials trying to own the club? Because that's what I see as, as a fan. That there are people who are not okay. even elected officials trying yeah. to have... Everybody wants to be the person to, to fix do, Gore, to yet fix there Gore. is an office. Yes. I think there's a lot of that, uh, Carol. And um, you find that you'll find probably one of the, 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 the EC members or two are probably listening too much to you know the outside world and deciding to you know do things according to the outside world so that is why we are <laughs> where, where, where we are but um i heard that this is supposed to be a fans initiative of raising that uh, yes they wanted a hundred million a uh, season if i'm not wrong it, it no i think it's 200 200 million it's 200 million yeah. for two seasons something like that but you see, we can't be raising a hundred million every season. I think they had they had put that mark as the money that they want, or rather, uh, that is uh, the maximum amount they wanted they wanted to collect from the public. That is from my understanding. But since it is a fans' initiative, I really don't want to comment much about it. But how would a fans' initiative happen without the club's approval? So basically, we should ignore that fundraising. <laughs> or it's up to you. If you want to give I your money, give it. I, I, I think so because I, I, I do, like I said when I when I gave a small uh, presser mm. uh, some time back, I was not really uh, fully involved or rather involved in in the whole thing. So I don't know much about it. 
in organizing this fundraising. Yes. Because if the, whether it's a funds initiative or not, mm. if that 100 million is to be raised, mm -hmm. I am assuming as mm. treasurer of the club, mm -hmm. it would land on your lap in how to spend it, how to budget for it and all these things. So I am in the dark. You're in the dark? Yes. Okay, there's an initiative to raise 100 million for Gormaia. <laughs> yeah. By the way, I have WhatsApp messages from uh, people around Gormaia, not mm. official officials, mm. telling me, can I also get involved in this initiative? Mm. But if the treasurer doesn't know about it, mm. I'm sorry, I'm not getting involved. Mm. Um, n n n I nothing personal. Yeah. But, uh, and I think this has been the biggest problem for Gormaia fans, mm. that they don't know where their money goes. Yes. In fact, when Ambrose sat in this chair and told me that you have 500 registered fans, I was mm. like, how? Yeah. And the fans said, well, we don't trust where the money yeah. is going. No, of no, course, no, you were not treasurer then, but yes. um, the fans said, how are we paying membership? Mm -hmm. I think there was, uh, when I got into office, uh, I, I, I did a publication on uh, the funds. Mm -hmm. the funds that had registered, the 500 of them. And I think I gave the amount that had been collected, it was 600 and something. And uh, the money was actually used for the elections, which was also six, uh, 600 and something. But uh, I think we had a balance of about 50 something. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the figures off my head right mm -hmm. now. Yeah, and unfortunately, there are people who really made a lot of noise. Eh, why am I uh, putting uh, this uh, Gormaya things on, uh, on social media? blah 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 you know and it became worse when I when I did the Algeria thing as well uh, to show how money came in how how we spent it when when we we're going to uh, Algeria and there was hue and cry so you know it becomes difficult you don't know how to please these funds sometimes you don't know uh, some sometimes you do this you think that okay they're going to be happy about it but when they see there's a negative 800,000 they're like uh, you're, you're putting our dirty linen in public. So, which is which, you know, Carol? So I stopped. So, I, yeah, because uh, you I are known because for putting things on Facebook. Yes. Everything so that's I happening stopped. at Gormaya, you put on Facebook. Yes. So but I you stopped. get in trouble with both officials yes. and fans. Both officials and fans, yeah. But then if it is being run mm -hmm. by, like, a, a company, mm -hmm. in quotes, mm -hmm. with your 500 uh, registered fans, mm -hmm. I don't think you owe the larger fan base on Facebook and explanation okay. unless you're mm -hmm. part of those 500 who've mm -hmm. just the way companies work mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. I have stocks in different companies mm -hmm. and I get reports but that you tell see me Carol, this is how the money has been spent you see Carol now when we come out again and we say we want the fans to contribute <coughs> how do you deal with that you see where the, the catch is can I take two steps back yes why is it Club like Gorma <laughs> here, wanting fans to contribute. <laughs> when you think of big clubs around this, this, this world mm. or around Africa, let's not mm. even go to the world. Mm. I don't think, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I don't mm. know whether Simba fans in Tanzania mm. fundraise, mm. you know. I think mm. they have an office that has found a way. Because mm. how is money made in sport? It's mm. made through gate, it's yes. made through merchandising, Merchandise. yes. sponsorships, mm -hmm. um, how else? and maybe your federation, I don't know if it gives any money that trickles down. <laughs> yes. So let's go one by one. Mm -hmm. Gate, you've already mentioned that mm -hmm. unfortunately, us loud jangos, mm -hmm. those are my words, not hers, <laughs> us loud jangos, we don't, know, we don't want to pay, <laughs> we reach the gate and we mm -hmm. start with, do you know who I am? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Merchandising. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, before you run away from the, the gate uh, collection bit, I, I want to tell the fans out there that I am working behind the scenes to ensure that we have a proper digital uh, e-ticketing uh, platform which is going to work. And it's going to work because uh, we are already doing the, 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 the tests. We are doing the tests, you know, Chiniamaji. So I believe someone will, will not have an excuse of wanting to jump, hey, it's GO, these people are, are taking too long to give us tickets, blah, blah, blah. So, because I've had that, because of that, sometimes the, the fans decide to jump the gates because uh, the, the, the queue is the too, long is too and, long. You know, you can either buy through your phone or you can go online and do the, do the, do the buy, you know. So we've made it so easy that when you come, you, your, 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 your code is just scanned and you, 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 you get in, you know, scanned and you get in. And per adventure, you don't, you are not able, I don't know for what reason, you are not able to purchase a ticket on time. Yeah, we have uh, very good scanners that you can actually pay and to the pay bill, you pay 
and the scanner will also produce for you a receipt. It gets validated and you go in. But I don't want us to go that way. That is just for emergency, for those, for those Jangozo who say, do you know who I am? Yeah? I was busy. I so didn't know I was coming for the game. Yes. Now, for merchandise, uh, we have an, uh, a merchandise shop now that is uh, picking slowly. But can, sorry, sorry, can I just take you back on, on, on the ticketing? Yes. So when can we see Gor using digital ticketing? I know right now because of COVID, mm. legally fans should not even be in the stadium. Yes, but yes. can we say next season we'll see it ha happening? Yes. yes. We'll yes. see it happening yes. next season. Yes. And your whole office is on the same page that this will be yes. endorsed. Yes, yes, because uh, we, 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 we've all wanted this uh, e-ticketing e platform for, for a while. Yes. Because for the longest and time... And again, uh, it is our most preferred mode even in the constitution, in our new constitution. For accountability as well. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's move to... Um, so fans you've had, <laughs> when uh, e-ticketing yes. is implemented, yes. please embrace it. Mm. It is the best way for transparency. Yes. It is the best way for, for security because yeah. then it avoids those long queues mm. and, mm. and buy tickets. A ticket is what? 100 bob, 200 bob. Mm. If you want VIP, it's not more than uh, than ten dollars. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you speak in a language they understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm. Um, merchandising. Merchandising. Um, and we look good, by the way. If I should say yes, so myself. Yes, we look very nice in this attire. Thank you. Um, we have a shop now, designated in town, on Kenyatta Avenue, Pioneer Building. Uh, room number 411 on the fourth floor. So you just grab your lift and you're there. Yeah. So we also have a pay bill that we use at the shop. And we encourage everybody to please come with money already on your MPESA. So you just do your transaction and uh, it's unfortunate. I don't think I carried the, the, the statement with me, but I would have showed you because the money goes directly to the bank. You know, it the pay bill is a conduit directly to the bank. And that is a system personally I like. I don't know how the other uh, pay bills are going to be working, but this particular one, you get your message saying that you have bought merchandise from Gormaya, blah, 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 to uh, BOA, Bank of Africa, where the money goes uh, straight. So for that, I think uh, very soon I'm going to publish. I don't know where to publish yet, but I am on the on the member members platform. We are creating something uh, where we can post even the the financial statements that you can be able to just click and see how the club is doing. But they are still working on the what do you call it? They are still working on the security yes. features to ensure that. You don't just download or you don't just come and screenshot and then you, you, you take it public, you know. It is for members, yeah. Again, that is also one way to grow our membership base because somebody will want to know, okay, so what is happening in, in, in the, in the Gormaya fi financial side? Mm -hmm. You just go in there. As a member, you'll, you'll be able to go in, see the, 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 the books, how they're looking, and you, 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 you will, you will you'll decide for yourself what you want to do for the club because there are many ways you can help the club as a member or even as a fan. Yeah. So um, I believe uh, uh, even merchandising soon, uh, the platform will also have something on merchandising where you can, you from the platform also you can still be able to buy whatever you want and either gets delivered. Like an online or store? Or yes. Uh, we are going to mm. work on that, but these things are, programming is not so easy, so it takes a lot of work. Um, when I wanted, when I was looking for jerseys, yes. and today I don't want to dwell too much on domains. If we dwell on domains, we'll talk <laughs> until tomorrow. Yes. When I was looking to buy these jerseys, yes. I actually had to call someone to call yes. someone to eventually yes. tell me, oh, it's Dolphina who's handling the jerseys. Yes. I actually went to all Gormai here social platforms, and I couldn't find any information mm. on where I can get merchandise. Mm. So it's nice you have a shop, but yeah. how do people know you have a shop unless mm. they're listening to you now, mm. you know? Yeah, that's the so reason why I even uh, accepted to come for this invite, so that everybody knows that we have a shop. I, I, I can say that uh, at the time when I wanted uh, the launch of the shop to happen, uh, the COVID restrictions became too much, so we couldn't do a launch. 
because <laughs> I mean, for you to do a launch, you need people to come to the shop, and mm. that massive uh, it could have landed us yeah. in problems. So, um, but uh, again, as usual, uh, like you say, our domains in in, in our office. Uh, should I say our handles? Uh, on our handles, uh, it was just a letdown. Yeah, somebody did not want to. <laughs> Somebody did not want to to mulika, let me say, that we actually have a shop. Despite the fact that they know that we have the shop. That's, that's, that's <laughs> very depressing. Yes. And you're trying so, to be diplomatic. So that's why, yeah, that's why I went <laughs> out full blast on all my, my, my platforms. And right now I'm happy to say that I've created a page, a merchandise page for Gormaya. So you What's can... What's the handle, Gormaya? Uh, um, uh, it's called Gormaya Merchandise Shop. You okay. If you just type that, you'll find it. So yeah. Gormahia Merchandise Shop. But yes. it's very frustrating that the yeah. main Gormahia handles, Yes, um, and you're not saying this, but I know it, are, <laughs> are not owned by the club. <laughs> or rather, the person with the passwords does not work officially for the club. Uh, yes. And it is, a, it is upsetting for me when, mm. because if I'm going to look for information on mm. where to get anything to do with Gormahia, yeah. I will go to those official handles yes. before I even know that there's a merchandise. Because even those handles should yes. have somewhere for merchandise go to promoting that merchandise shop. Oh, correct. So it is unfortunate that mm. Gormahia mm. office is not in control of their social mm. media handles. It is my That's prayer. a worry. It is my prayer, Carol, that it's, it, this is go going to be short-lived because I am working very hard towards, you know, make ensuring that our handles are actually ours not somebody else's. Not an individual who Yes, where your, your they will decide today uh, they are posting something on Gormaya tomorrow, they don't want to post. We, we, we need to get out of that. There's been a lot of that. I Even as I was coming into the office, there was a lot of that. In fact, I think we had like two handles running parallel. Uh, so uh, it's something that... that streamlining. Yes, there's just too much to, to do in Gormaya. Too much. Um, let me read some of these comments, mm -hmm. and then I come into uh, 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 the third aspect, mm -hmm. which was uh, uh, corporate sponsorship. Mesh Joseph says, uh, Madam Treasurer, who will be held accountable for the fundraising funds? <laughs> Did you hear what she said? She's not wow. even involved in that fundraiser. I'm not involved in it. Please, uh, I think uh, the people who are spearheading it right now, I hear there's a committee that is supposed to be... Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. I will not be held responsible. It's, it's a fun I initiative. I don't want to so be. Just, just be I knowing. I don't want to be held it's responsible. It's a fun initiative. Yes. Yeah? yeah. Evans Kitiwa. <laughs> um, he says, Dolphina, stop whining and complaining. Tell mm -hmm. us what you're doing to ensure we have a proper sponsorship deal that mm -hmm. will solve our financial chaos. We're going into that mm -hmm. next, uh, mm -hmm. just now. Um, mm -hmm. Chetera Elisham says, Madam Treasurer, mm -hmm. who is in charge of financial matters? When the money will be collected, who will be answerable? Did the management have a meeting to decide the fundraiser? Guys, <laughs> she, I think she's made it clear. <laughs> the fundraiser is not an official... Is it... Am I right in saying it is not an official initiative by the office of Gorma here? I believe so. Okay. Mm. It is individuals. Carol, I believe so, because... I don't know anything about this this fund. Guys, this give fundraising. to the fundraising at yes. your own risk. Zamia uh, Gitar Masharia, <laughs> Gore is such a huge brand, such mm. that if they get a pro box sponsorship, mm. pro boxes will officially become a legal means of transport to mm. the safari ride. <laughs> 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 Masharia, pro boxes, I'm not sure. Mm. We are Jangos. <laughs> uh, we'll get to that calf issue. Mm. Um, Yuji Nooma, did I hear? Trash Dolly says she heard, or my ears failed me. Mm. Yes, she heard that there's a fundraiser. Mm. Uh, Evans Kitiwa, why is Gormahia's financial financials crumbling? We are not happy with the, the chairman. He needs to. <laughs> eh? That is very <laughs> sad. <laughs> okay, I'm not even reading the end of that statement. <laughs> Please let's, don't. Not go, let's not go into let's individuals. Not go <laughs> yeah, let's not go personal. Let's not go personal. Mm. Um, I agree with that. Mm. Um, Peter Tosh, I won't read the first half of your message, but he says, killer time, fans drive. 
Um, le- guys, let's keep our language a bit uh, clean because I have to read it out. Isaac Carter Onga says, uh, Mamba, ya, Nagorma here losing players is not a question for Dolphina. End of quote. <laughs> but the reason I asked it to her is because it is a financial issue. Mm. For me, I think it is a financial issue because it's not mm. like these Gorma here players are living for mm. big European clubs or for yeah. big whatever clubs. Yeah. They're living for clubs that, mm. for me, Gorma here is an equally money. big brand. It's just about the money. Yeah. It's just about the money. I want us mm. to take a break. I want us to take a break. Then when mm. we come back, we'll discuss the issue of marketing, sponsorships. Mm. Mm. And you have some initiatives that you're yes. working on, especially with the youth, eh? Yeah. Because that's another area mm. that we do need to discuss. So mm. we'll see you in about uh, 30 seconds. By the way, guys, enjoy this thing from, uh, from Colin Zinjera, eh? Check it out. <laughs> Welcome back. This is Radul Live. And uh, yes, uh, Kolo has uh, really entertained us. At least one thing Kenya can get in Tokyo. We can get the entertainment medal. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what the volleyball Malkia strikers are doing after training. Have you seen what Kenya <laughs> Sevens are doing after training? Yeah, just have a little dance, release the stress, you know. So uh, all the best to the team in uh, Tokyo. By the way, guys, if you want to know the daily fixtures, on uh, when Kenyans are uh, in action in Tokyo, make sure you go to the Tusker handles. Yes, Tusker Kenya. They actually have uh, released some flyers with the schedules. You know when Kenyans are playing. I think our volleyball girls are playing tomorrow. Our uh, uh, rugby team starts, I think, on Monday. Um, but we'll share all the information with you. And remember to use the hashtag, we are Team Kenya. We are Team Kenya. So I'm still here with Dolphina Odiambo, the uh, treasurer of Gorma here. Let me read a few comments, and then we'll get into the issues of, uh, of uh, sponsorships. Um, some of these you can answer really quickly if you want. A lot of it you've, you've covered. Um, Evans Kiti was saying, Dolphina, do we have audited accounts for the last three years? Um, yes. We have. Yes. You took over. When did you take over? Last D- year. It, last year. Mm, so half of 2019, 2020. Of course, 2021, I promised that uh, it will be out in January. Because this year I had to mm. start working backwards. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you have the audited account mm. for the last three years. How can somebody get access to these if they, if they want they to see will, them? They would have to, like I said, I'm planning to put them on the, on the membership portal. Okay. Yeah, so they can access them from there. Kitiwa, I hope you're a registered member so you can <laughs> get uh, access to that membership uh, portal. Mm. Um, Waga Waga Jakadia, can she resign if she's not responsible for the fundraiser? Mm. No, I don't think so because if somebody wants to step up and do a fundraiser and not involve the treasurer, mm. this is, th- I think the fundraisers are a private issue and I don't want us to go there. The fundraiser is a private issue and I don't want us to go there. Um, Xavier Gital Masharia, I have stocks in the... Ah, stop quoting me. <laughs> He's quoting me. Tina Dool is so luo when she says she has stocks in different companies, don't you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then he asks, can we swipe at the merchandise shop, the luo in me? Yeah. It's a luo from Fika. <laughs> um, Ward Charles Nyadida just has a shout out following mm-hmm. from Langata. Um, 
Guys, I'm deliberately ignoring the comments you're making about your chairman. I'd rather yeah. I invite him back. He was here about a yeah. year and a half ago. I'd rather I invite him back so that he can uh, answer some mm. of those questions yeah. himself. Mm. But let's get in into the issue of uh, marketing and sponsorships mm. because for me, that is why Gorma here is losing players because mm. there's no money. Yeah. Um, yes, you have some sponsors. Mm. It's not enough. enough. Yeah. A club like Gorma here... Where are we in terms of your marketing and your sponsorships? Because you do have a sponsor at the moment, but yeah, we do. it's not enough for the costs. No, it's not enough. Actually, they, they brought down the... We moved from 55 uh, million to 30? The 30 sponsorship million? you're getting from your... This your season? Yes. That's from BetSafe? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, and it's the only one we have currently. Mm -hmm. So... We, s we are still, d we are doing a lot of work to see that uh, we get more. But other than that, I think, Carol, if you ask me, money tends to be online. Personally, I don't believe so much in, uh, you know, uh, begging, because I've realized that the fan base, the Gormaya fan base, they want value for money. For example, uh, you give me 2,500 uh, and uh, you get a t-shirt, for example, or you get a jersey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that is why uh, things like Skiza Tunes, where you have, s you are entertaining your, 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 your contacts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When they call you, they hear uh, people saying some funny stuff or they hear the, the Kogalo anthem. Those kinds of things people mm -hmm. will embrace. And Sincerely, that is where the money is, including uh, the, the, the short code for updates, you know, quick updates. Oh, Gormai is playing in such and such a place, blah, blah, blah. And this one, even the person in Mashinani, who probably does not have a TV, can be able to, to get the, the news about Gormai, you know, what is happening in Gormai, where are we at, you know. I know that if... I'm given a chance to, uh, if, I, if I have uh, the money to, to do a, a good campaign, a marketing campaign or, or publicity for these items, mm -hmm. just with a million subscriptions, Carol will not have any problems. Because a skizer tune is one shilling and 50 cents a day. Why would I want to uh, subscribe to one, uh, maybe one gospel artist uh, singing and I am a Gormaya fan and I cannot subscribe to maybe a Kogalo uh, Skiza tune, for example, you know? You know, yes and no. Mm -hmm. um, it's Why? easy to give numbers that, mm -hmm. yeah, you only need a million subscribers. Mm -hmm. As here, mm -hmm. with how much is membership fee now? Is it a hundred or two hundred? Twelve hundred a year. Yes. So it's a hundred bob a month. A hundred bob a month. Twelve hundred. Mm -hmm. You're unable to get more than five hundred registered fans. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, you think the same fan base will. You see, Carol embrace a skiza tune. Up Carol, to a million strong. At the beginning, when we came into office, actually in January, I had implored on people to to register because that is our calendar period for registration January, or renewal and registration January to March, yeah? But because of the, should I call it wrangles that, we, that were ongoing, or I, 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 don't, I don't even know what to call it, mm. Carol, but the, the subscription was abruptly stopped because somebody said, hey, we are not going to have uh, people subscribing. And I'm like, why would you want to do something like that? And this is something that is going to benefit the club. So, so the officials that don't even want a, yes. a, fan, a, fans dr a fans drive in terms of a fans registration drive. Yes. A fans registration drive. Yes. You know, they are still waiting for that perfect moment. There is never a perfect moment come. Mm. And with this COVID, <laughs> when will the perfect moment come? When now you do a big uh, uh, fans, fans drive. registration drive. Yes. We it should be a, continu a continuous it's exercise in my it's view. Continuous. There's nothing to lose. Yes, you have nothing to lose. Uh, so when another official comes on air and says, oh, you people, you, you should not be registering, 
August is here. It's just how many days uh, to August. Mm. I want to see if now those people who decided now not to hack into the call, they're going to uh, do the registration. So the officials who are stifling the growth, basically. Yes. And you see, <laughs> uh, the fan base of Gormaya, once they see that there is division, or any, they will take advantage and, and say, ah, if we are not supposed to be registering, why, why is this uh, woman, uh, you know, uh, screaming at the top of her voice that we should register? You understand? Okay. Um, mm. As much as I also agree that mm. there's a lot of money to be had digitally, mm -hmm. I don't think you can ignore the old school form of mm. uh, clubs getting corporate sponsorship. Yes. Which is how clubs around the world are running mm. on 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 corporates who feel I can get visibility and mm. association from a mm. successful club like mm. Gormahia. here. Mm. But what I told Ambrose when he sat in this chair is that mm. you cannot take to mm. a corporate that we have 500 registered fans. Yes. It's, it's, a, it's a numbers game. Yes. It's a numbers game. I yeah. see more than 500 people mm -hmm. turn up for games. Mm -hmm. Why are they not, not members? Members. Yes. Because that is what you then take to a corporate. Exactly. So you, for me, you have to do such a PR exercise yes. within your club. Mm -hmm. Then you have to do a PR exercise for... Mm -hmm. Corporates who you're targeting I to, totally agree. to I give totally you money. Agree. I totally agree, uh, Carol. I totally agree. Uh, I, 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 do, I don't want to, to speculate, but if only we began this in January, I'm sure we would be very far. I am sure we would be very far. Uh, are there officials willing, willing right to start now? Right now, I think, I think right now we have... Uh, We've reached about, we are still stagnating about uh, 600 and something uh, members. Every day you'll find somebody has registered. Like, uh, out of the blues, you'll find somebody has registered. And they're calling me, hey, I've not re received my, uh, my number. We check. And then the system normally, the, the, the members portal normally goes down because if it, if it is quiet, if that pay bill is quiet for, for it's like it, it goes on a holiday. Mm. So <laughs> sometimes you don't get, uh, you don't, the system does not give you immediately your membership number. And I'm also working on getting them uh, membership cards. Yeah, as soon as I, I, I lay some good money on, on my hands, I want to uh, make cards for, for the members so that they, they feel that, you know, they are truly members. Th apart from just uh, when, you, when you register, you get a number. Yeah, you get a, no a number automatically. Um, I want to take it to the next level where they will be, be able to have their cards soon. Immediately speaking, mm. where is Gore expecting to get money aside from the sponsorship from BetSafe? And I'm, I'm imagining FKF gives some money for, mm. for, for TV rights. Mm. I think, um, okay, personally, I'm working on, uh, I have proposals that I've done, which um, I'm, I'm floating around for especially sponsorship for the youth team mm -hmm. because you know right now Gormaya is one before that youth team used to be handled as you know uh, separately but because of the restrictions with CAF and, uh, and, and, and the FIFA rules we as Gormaya as a club if we want to be um, in good books or rather to meet all the requirements we must have a resident youth team so it is now no more a, a, a side thing youth team is part of part and parcel of gormaya yeah so i am looking for sponsors i have uh, done quite a number of proposals that are out there my and inbox I'm is full of them uh, yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah i don't have enough work on my hands i know i know <laughs> but you never know you might just meet somebody asking <laughs> yeah so it's better to be prepared than to be caught you know uh, left-footed yeah so yeah I'm working on that and uh, I believe um, something will give in something will give in. let's talk a bit more about the youth team because my understanding mm. is that previously and it's good you said you're now one entity yes previously yes because you were running a separate entities mm -hmm. People who are running the youth team yes. were actually <laughs> selling off players yes. without the parent club knowing. Yes, they were. And yet, here is Gorma here losing good players. Exactly. Here's an academy developing mm -hmm. good players mm -hmm. that are then sold off and the money went where? Did mm -hmm. it come to the club? <laughs> what happened? Uh, Carol. It was just <laughs> run independently. Yes, it was run independently. And uh, I think to, pu to put an end to that, mm. 
<coughs> the youth team uh, members, I made them sign a document mm -hmm. that says uh, they cannot just uh, take off anyhow, or somebody will not just come and, and lure them, you know, uh, and, and sell them off like, you know, they were just some piece of uh, property. There is a club, there is a management in this club, so if they are interested, they come, we sit and talk. And, so and the youth players are contracted right now? They, they are, they, it's like, I think, I, I don't know how to call this. I, I call it, personally, I call it a pre-agreement. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Such that... Oh, because you can't contract yes. under, uh, what's the age limit? There's an age limit for... Yes. But most of them are actually, uh, right now we have, the, most of them are in the 20s, 20-something, 20 okay. 19. They are, most of them are above 18. Yeah? So what is happening is there is no monetary um, uh, amount attached to these contracts yet. Mm -hmm. But what we've done is we are giving Gormaya Senior the first priority of signing in case we want to sign anyone from youth team. So it's, it's, it's a one page, I think I'll share it with you, uh, that, stay, that says um, we have the, the, first, the number one priority and then number two, uh, if somebody from out wants to take them, they must come to a negotiating table with us so that they're not just, you know, uh, taken away as, as though uh, there was no development going on there. This thing of, I don't know, 20 balls are being issued uh, in, in, in exchange for a player, surely. Aye. I'm telling you things which have happened, Carol. Uh, personally, I don't understand it. And just to stop that, I made provision for, for, for that to line out of a contract. Yes. And of course, as the, as, the, as the youth team, as they play nowadays, I ensure that they get uh, their allowance without faith. You know, allowance to subsistence just to help them come to the games, uh, you know, something kidogo for their pocket. So you're heavily yeah. involved in, in the yes. youth team and the development of the youth team. Yes, yes. I, I know for a fact, you know, people, are, I've seen a comment here that you're mm. the treasurer, so you mm. should only talk about money. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. I know for a fact that you've, mm -hmm. you've even used your own money to send the youth team yes. to, to, to friendlies, to, to, yes. to matches. Yes, yes. Because in our constitution, there's a provision that says an EC member can, out of their own pocket, they call it out of pocket money or whatever, you can use it. And then when the club is able to do a refund, you get your refund. Yeah. So for me, it's when should or I if? call it <laughs> <laughs> when <laughs> when you see because for me it's it's a waiting a waiting process. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When the funds are there, I can probably take fifty or twenty or whatever, you know, to refund myself. Yeah. But just to ensure that the youth team does does not miss uh, any match and they own all their matches, I ensure that you know they are well taken care of. What is the plan? Because mm -hmm. you said uh, right now you're getting, I think, 30 million from uh, BetSafe. Mm -hmm. And the gold budget per month is how much? <laughs> Roughly. <laughs> Carol. Roughly. A rough figure. <laughs> I mean, it's, I don't think it's a secret. Three, no, four, five million. Of course, five million, of course, because when we put the salaries. Salaries, of the players, travel costs. Yeah. Those, mm -hmm. yeah. It's about five, five, six million there. And if you Come multiply on. that, yes. you get almost double what you're receiving. Yes. How are you expecting to get through, mm. if this other fundraiser has nothing to do with the office, mm. how are you expecting to get through the season, mm. given that we are only, there's still several matches to play. Yeah. You've received Carol, half your budget. Carol, I want to correct you. Mm. I don't want you to say that uh, uh, the fundraiser is not involved in the office because I think it was uh, it stemmed from part of the office. So I don't know what what awaits us out there, but uh, but <laughs> what I told you is that I am not involved. Let's be clear on that. I am not involved in the fundraiser. Okay, how mm. is the treasurer <laughs> of the club not involved in a fundraising mm. 
And when you say stems from the office, mm. uh, how does the office operate? Don't you mm. have meetings? And if it is anything to do with money, isn't mm. the treasurer called? I thought so too. So you're being sidelined by your own office? Well, I'm not sure whether it's by design or, or what, but I'm waiting to see how the fundraiser goes also. Yeah, but it's, uh, for me, it's frustrating. It's like I'm I hitting know. my hand on, on a wall. I know. Right now, <laughs> okay, right now, Kenyans don't even have money. I know. <laughs> the number of fundraisers, mm -hmm. I'm being put on WhatsApp groups daily till I've blocked <laughs> it. You cannot put me on a WhatsApp group, yes. you know, without asking permission. Yeah. Because of how much people are in need, and it's genuine cases. Yes. Eh? yes. Then you're telling us we need 100 million mm. A season, I think mm -hmm. the what's the target? I think it's two hundred million. Two hundred right? million. It's two hundred million mm. to be collected from Kenyans who already are struggling in their own lives, mm. and then you're telling me that money will be under the custody of the funds. people we are not sure. Yeah. The treasurer of the club where you're sending your money mm. is not involved no, in this not. project in any way, because my concern is who's mm. going to receive that money. Who's going to be responsible for auditing, for, 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 for giving us... Carol, I think we should give uh, whoever is running the, 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 fund, the fundraising... Uh, Who's running the it? ...the benefit of the doubt. Who's running it? I think it's the SG. Uh, he will explain. I think he will explain to you, I to the, the public... <laughs> ...to the public how he plans to, to, to do it. Yeah? I'm just looking at my WhatsApp here. Yeah. It's from Fred Omondi. Yes. What's his role? Who is Fred Omondi? Which Fred Omondi? Oh, I can show you his photo. Uh, That's his photo. Yes, that is, that is one of uh, the committee guys. He's a committee uh, member. Uh, yes. He's the one who sent me this flyer, uh, Gorma here, $2 uh -huh. million dollars campaign. Hey, uh -huh. we don't even speak in shillings here. Uh -huh. uh? <laughs> we are dollar uh, nation. <laughs> <laughs> and he was requesting a meeting with me on behalf of the steering committee to see how we can push this initiative. Uh. I am not getting into an initiative, <laughs> no offense, <laughs> if the treasurer of the club is not aware of... You see, Carol, And I'm not just saying it because I'm sitting here with Dolphina. Mm. I'm thinking anybody's concern when you're asked to raise money. But the raising money is so... It's such a touchy period. It's such mm. a touchy subject. It is. Eh? it is. Because this is people's hard-earned cash. Mm. Then you're being told you, you're not sure mm. about who's going to manage it. Mm. It's I such know. a touchy subject. I know it is, it is, Carol. I think we just let it rest. <laughs> I, don't want it rest. You, I don't want you to have a headache over it. If you want to give to it, you give to it. What other initiatives do we have for these youth? Because for me, the future mm. of Godma here needs to be with, mm. if the club is already struggling financially, mm. it means uh, even buying the mm -hmm. best players in the region or is mm. going to be a bit of a challenge. Mm. So the future lies with Gormahia youth. Yes. And uh, what I know, Caro, is that uh, from uh, the federation, they we have we have a leeway to to bring up up to at least ten to move at least ten youth mm -hmm. members to the senior team, if need be if we decide that they are good enough. Of the period of a season. Yes. And you have some talented kids there. Yes, 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 mm. yes. They're very good kids. So um, I think when they move up, that is when now the, the, the contract, uh, the proper contracts will, will come into play. Of course, I will not just move them up and uh, you know they'll, they'll, they'll just be continuing as, as youth team. We'll put them on proper, proper contracts, you know, so that they can also have uh, something to fall back on and you know if you're working for the club you should be able to earn something from from it as well so i i i, I think other than just uh, negotiating for them or, or or helping negotiate for them to other clubs yeah and get money for our club not for dolphina <laughs> mm. <laughs> for the club uh, i see I see uh, a situation where if we develop very good talent, we can, we can also still be able to make money even from that very youth team. And it will also go away, a long way to assist. Because another way club. that clubs make money is sale mm. of players. Yes. Development and sale of, of yes. youth players. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Let me just read a comment here. Mm. Frere Eduardo Tas, treasurer mm. not involved in the fundraising. Mm. <laughs> Jesus. 
cartels are everywhere. We're not going to discuss this. No, no, no. It's like Yatani not involved in the country's budget. Eh? <laughs> then he goes, oh, wait, mm. there was another... Um, Chetera Elisham says, you don't mm. need rocket science to understand the current situation in Golmahia office mm. is why the club is crumbling. Is mm. the club crumbling or they're going through a tough period? No, it's just a tough period. It's a tough period. It's a tough period for everyone. And, you, and let me tell you something, Carol. Mm. I, without mentioning other clubs, other clubs are also suffering. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I have inside information that there are some clubs where if you try to open your mouth and say, oh, my salary, this, my, my friend, you're shown the door. Mm -hmm. We don't want, in Gormaya, we don't want to be that club where if you make noise about your salary, you know, you're fired. I'm not saying that our players should always cry about their salary. No. There are so many clubs that I know, they've not paid four months salary, five months salary, and you will not hear it. But because it is Gormaya, it has to be magnified. Because it, yeah, it, is, it is our thing, you know? So. <laughs> But you see, let me tell you why I feel sad mm. for Gorma here. Mm. The size and the history of Gorma here. Exactly. For me, Gorma here should be the model. Yes. Other clubs should be saying, mm. we want to be like, like Gorma, Gorma here. here. Exactly. So as, uh, by the way, in mm. fact, people are like, if Gorma here is going through this, mm -hmm. they, have a, they have a club sponsor, mm -hmm. they get uh, mm. uh, revenue from TV rights, mm. and on a normal year, they would have fun, um, they would have gate money. Mm -hmm. So if Gormahia is going through this mm -hmm. with what Gormahia has to work with and the size mm -hmm. of a brand it is, mm -hmm. what about smaller clubs? Mm -hmm. You know, how are those smaller clubs even going to begin to survive? But you see, Carol, let me tell you, if we didn't have to honor calf matches, Carol, I think we would be okay. The, 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 the pit, I wait, don't so. wait. I don't think so. No, 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 Carol. The pit, the bottom pit where our money goes is the calf campaign. I know calf is expensive because 20 you're shipping. Million yes, because you're for shipping. For a return leg, one, one, mm. Carol. Tell me which other club here spends 20 million in a month. Yes and no, because for me. And then again, more, the and then again Carol, the sponsor that we have, especially currently. Mm. Well, I don't know what, what used to happen during the sport, PESA time. Mm. I don't know. I don't, I don't think there were as many problems as there are right now. I, I don't know, Carol. I don't want to talk about it. There were fixtures then. Yeah. Yes. And I think everything was kind of smooth. Mm. If we never had some of the things that I've seen <laughs> in, mm. my, in my short life in Gormaya. Those guys were coughing, what, 100 million? Yeah? But now here we are with... 55. And then I hear that uh, Sport Pesa used to even uh, go to an extent of uh, adding some more money, which is not within the contract, just so that these people can honor the matches properly. So there was a lot of cushioning. But yeah, right but I don't now, know, I don't know. financial right times now, have changed. No, and right, I don't now, think right now, right now. I'm not we sure are to talking, save you, Dolphina, because it sounds Look, like you're it sounds like you're saying we, something bad about your sponsors. So no, I'm trying I'm to not. stop you. No, I, I want you I want you to understand. With the financial times, I even want for a sponsor to come on board I should know, be appreciated. I know, Carol, but mm. what I, I want I want the public to understand. Mm. A one hundred million million situation and a fifty five eh, without any other cushioning from the sponsor. That is what let I want us to understand. Let me tell and you my challenge. You, can, I, I really, can, I, can I give you a secret? I really since, since your history is gone short, eh? I really appreciate it. Even during those 100 Betty. million days, mm -hmm. even those 100 million days, mm -hmm. we would still get gold players on a go slow. We would still have fundraisers. I don't think Gormahi has gone through any season without some level of a fundraiser for the last 10 years. I think the fundraiser. And more. I think the last fundraiser was where they were wearing, uh, what was it uh, t shirts written at the 350 100? Uh, something. I think that is the only one I know. But players going on during go slow is not. During new. Sport Pesa? I don't players think Players so. going on a go slow uh -huh. is not a new thing. And my concern a club as big as Gorma here, first of all, should only have one sponsor. You should have a beverage sponsor, you should have an insurance sponsor, you should have your betting sponsor, you should have a club the Carol, size of that is why here. That is why I told you at the beginning that I have thrown my feelers out there 
mm. you know, with proposals, different kinds of pro proposals for sponsorship. And bearing in mind the hard times we have of COVID, maybe that's why uh, none has borne fruit up to now. I don't know. know. I've, I've always felt that mm. my concern with Gore mm -hmm. is anyone internally within the club mm -hmm. understands the size of the brand. Mm -hmm. But you've not managed to show the size of that brand. Mm -hmm. There is, I won't give you a name, mm. there's someone who once walked into my CEO's mm. office at Radio Africa mm -hmm. and said, if you want to continue to broadcast KPL on radio, on Radio Jumbo, mm. you have to give us 100 million shillings mm. a year. And he said, we can barter. 50 million goes to mm -hmm. advertising you give us. Mm -hmm. The other 50 million you give us in cash. Mm -hmm. And they were thrown out of that office. <laughs> and the person who came in said, but football is such a, mm. a billion dollar industry. Where? Mm. In Kenya. Mm -hmm. Maybe you see the value of football. Mm -hmm. I don't think we have developed that value. Mm. Why are, even in Sport Pesa times, mm. The, 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 the company will come and tell you how much they're giving Gorma here. That shouldn't be the case. Gorma should, should be a club that says, mm. you know what, you want we to get want involved this. with this club at this mm. level, 100 million, take it or leave it. Yeah. You don't want, go. Mm. Next, please. You know, yeah. and you have two or three of those. I think but has Gorma here I developed think, themselves think, to Carol, the point where they can tell Carol. any brand, I will give you value. If it is Coca-Cola, mm. we will sell more Coke mm. that you will make... 10 times that 100 million you're giving us within the season. Because that is what a sponsor looks for. Will mm. you sell my product? We're yeah. not they're not charities. Carol, let me, let me, let me take you back a bit. Mm. There was this uh, Patriot sponsorship, which was very good, if you ask me. Only that they, they really did not take care of, okay, whoever the, did the nego negotiation did not take care of the brand that you're talking about right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, So it was... Uh, for every bottle, uh, the club gets uh, five bottles. And then these guys, uh, they were not really, really that prepared. And we finished, uh, Gormaya finished all the, the stock that they had. So there was a, a dip. So if you ask me, Gormaya has a lot of potential. A lot. A lot. By the way, I don't know where the bread went. It used to be out okay. of stock in Kisumu. I, I, I don't <laughs> want to talk about the bread because I don't even know how it, it had been arranged. But I'm talking about Patreon because we've, we've had a discussion with them recently mm. and uh, we are going to go back there. Yeah, we are going to go back there. Uh, I think uh, th we should be having a meeting in, in August as, as they promised. So our problem, I think our problem in Gormaya, if you ask me, was we want... Uh, probably we wanted money in a in a sack but <laughs> in, in 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 reality that cannot it cannot happen like that we have to build something you have to build the the, the membership for example we keep on talking about the barcelona model the barcelona barcelona model those guys embraced their club and i'm sure they did a lot of um, campaigns on uh, on on, uh, on uh, club membership. Yes, because for the longest time, club Barcelona didn't membership. have corporate members, yes. uh, corporate sponsorships. They didn't want. They did. In fact, UNICEF for free. Yes, <laughs> yes. Huh? Their members, they took they, 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 because they were proud of their club. Huh? They, they 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 brought in more membership, you know, and they patronize everything that the club does. Yeah, I don't know whether they have uh, them skiza tunes and the short codes there, but. What I know is that those people are aggressive in patronizing the club uh, staff, you know? The, in fact, I, I, I will not be surprised if they have an uh, adopt a player initiative. Like I, Carol, I'm going to now, you know, sponsor a, a maybe Miheso, you know, the entire season. You get? So those kinds of dynamics are out there. but. For us, that's new, interesting ways of looking at it. Yeah, but for us, we 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 are, we are stuck on if the sponsor is not there, then there's no club. We have to get out of that, and it is us to take care of our membership ourselves as members. Uh, let's not even go into this thing of. I, I think, I think it's a combination. A, there, was a, there was like a thing of G. Uh, there was a time there was a circle and whatever. No, no, no. First. Let's deal with the membership. 
Membership. Way, even, even even for spo for corporate sponsors, everything mm. members membership is membership so is key. key because that is what everybody it's wants. It's key. But if some people don't understand it, they miss it. But you're right in that mm. because if assuming Nyayo Nyayo capacity, I think now they allow is it twenty eight thousand fans if they come in. If mm. all twenty eight thousand mm. turned up for every home game, yes. you multiply that by two three hundred shillings mm. gate. Mm -hmm you can actually sustain yourself from yes. the gate. Yes. And any corporate sponsorship, that is when you can sit and name your price for corporates. Yes. Because they will see the value in the fans and the bums in seats. Mm -hmm. That's what uh, my mm. colleague Ken Gidenji calls <laughs> it. Bums in seats. Yes. And mm. they've also paid to come in. Mm -hmm. And the corporates will be begging to be associated with the club. So what's your message to fans before we wrap? I would <laughs> I would like to tell the fans. Look at this camera. Oh, sorry. I'd like to tell the fans. You can say it in English, then you yes. say it in the Luo, mm. then you can say Dolu. it in Kiswahili. No, okay. I'm kidding. We understand okay. English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, to the fans out there, this club is teamwork. It's not a Dolphina affair, it's not an Ador affair. They call him Ador. It's not a, the chairman's affair. No. It is concerted effort. Concerted effort, I mean, all of us must pull our weight. If I'm a fan, I have to ensure that I pay the get, the get uh, fee, you know? And if, if, if there's merchandise available, I buy the merchandise, yeah. you know? Like, like the way Carol has well, done. I'm smart. Yeah. Yeah. She's very smart. Huh? Then uh, the, we have Skiza Tune. Patronize it. We, if, if you give me that 1.5 million daily, surely, Carol, do we like come begging? Because if I have a million uh, fans who have subscribed to Skizatune, that is 1.5 daily. That is money. That is serious money. If you so now don't convert even need it, fundraising. You, you don't, don't need, need fundraising. You don't need anything. And you see, if we are doing it all of us together, you don't feel so much of, of the pinch. Mm. Higher. The short code. Yeah? Uh, uh, updates, news updates. Maybe four in a four in four or five in a in a month, yeah. Mm -hmm. About Gormaya at six shillings, six yeah, bob, yeah, yeah, six bob. And and only. and, and Dolphina is here mm -hmm. for accountability because yes. I know that is the concern of the of and the all this fans. yes and accountability all, yes all these are going directly to the bank account, the club's bank account, not Dolphina's. Uh, account we would not be here we would not be here no. for those who want to subscribe to the skizer tune you simply dial star 811 star 188 hash I repeat and, and is that now on your official handles or not because you don't own them uh, as a club please thank you yeah. You, you will you'll find you'll find them on our on our merchandise page page. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to subscribe, you dial star eight one one star one eight eight hash and you get your skizer tune. And there are variety. There's entertainment, there is the Kogalo tune. Uh, yeah. Um and then uh, for news updates, this one it's uh, you send the word gore, you SMS, you know, you go to your SMS. SMS the word gore, gormaya, gore, G-O-R, you SMS it to 22154. Yeah? And the money goes to the and account. And the money goes. And Dolphina will make sure. To the account. It is accounted for. Yes. If you want to buy merchandise, you simply send your money to the pay bill, 4027501. It's on the handle. Yes. I think we leave it there, Dolly. Thank you. And oh, of course, uh, parting short, we now have all our names, the official name plus our, our nicknames. There is Gormaya, there is Kogalo, there is Sirkal, and there is the Green Army. All those now are, are, are under the, 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 the government uh, trademarks. So um, no more using of our, our names just anyhow. Four. If you want to use our names, please contact the treasurer because it will be at a fee. You will not send, sell merchandise just anyhow. 
you know. I had a, a session yesterday with the uh, KBC and uh, KTN to just, you know, uh, uh, show the public about uh, the trademarks. So there are four, Kogalo, Gormaya, the logo, Srikal, and the Green Army. Thank you. Ero Kamano. Ero Kamano. But we have a lot of fans of other uh, <laughs> communities, so let me not make it a new affair. <laughs> yes, please. But, but thanks, Dolphina. Thank you. You're this welcome. discussion was long overdue. Mm. Um, I wish you the best. I don't mm. know whether how I can get involved because my mm. hands are so full. Wow. Well, I know. I need to just, just, people. just get me one, one tiny sponsor. <coughs> just one. Thanks for coming, my dear. <laughs> Thank you for watching Radu Live, guys. I hope you've learned a thing or two. The reason mm. I take Gorma here as, it's like a case study, because if we get this club right, yes. every other club, mm. I mean, we're seeing other clubs coming in and, and, yeah. and doing better in terms of how they're being managed. Yes. Yet this is a, a, a space that Gorma here should have been owning, yes. you know? But we have these smaller private mm. clubs coming mm. through mm. with mm. the Sonko owners who are getting I, things right. I pray that in my, um, my the rest of my three years, I will make a difference, Carol. That's my goal. We'll make sure. Girl power. Girl power. Thanks for watching. We'll do live, guys. <laughs> next week, uh, we'll see you so that we do this. By the way, from next week, the show will uh, be coming an hour earlier, 12 to 1, until uh, further notice, as in in five years' time <laughs> or more. <laughs> but thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.